Okay. Um, so I called over um. to the neurology center, and um, they said just rough estimate is about 1,200 for the MRI. I got yeah. our side of things together as far as the anesthesia and the because we have to do a consulting charge for going over there. Um, and depending upon the length of time, like how long the procedure takes, generally it's about an hour. Um, so if it's the if it, if it kind of fits with that appropriate hour length of time, then um, it's about 770. Um, now let's say it takes longer than that for some reason. There's something that makes it go for longer. Um, then the estimate goes up to about four hours, which gets us to about uh, 1,200. So. Uh, That's fine. So I guess we'll wait for the first results. Yeah. I was just watching a guy who was talking about adenovirus, and uh -huh. it was like 30% of wild um, bearded dragons have it. I guess it's the same one that the Gila monsters had, and when uh -huh. they branched off from each other, it lays dormant in them. Yeah. They said in America, up to 80% of captain ones yes, have it. Yes, there was a study that was yeah. done that showed about 80% of the ones in, in I guess it's like natural to them, and it'll lay dormant, and if the husbandry is just off, then it'll take a hold. And like or, I, you know, where I think it may happen with some of the el elderly ones is just, you know what, when you get older, yeah, yeah. just normal wear and tear mm -hmm. in the body, so maybe your immune system isn't functioning as well as it was yeah. before, and yeah. Is there anything I can do to boost him up? I've tried, well, I was trying to give him critical care and stuff like that, but he can't. He doesn't handle oral things well. He so eats okay. fine on his own. He eats fine on his own, but is there supplements? Yeah, problem with the liquids. Yeah, liquid. Even giving him the little dropper of water, like he, she tried to let him like bathe, and like even when he normally would bathe and drink, he's. Thank you. I think it's just because we, first off, we, there's a lot we don't know about adenovirus yet. Yeah. Still, there's so many questions that we have, and so many gaps of, in our knowledge that we need to fill. Um, but one of the things you could potentially try as a supplement is some sort of omega-3 fatty acid. Omega-3 fatty acids help to reduce inflammation. Uh, they take a while to build up in the body over time. Like, it's not something that you're going to see changes from right away. But they build up in the body over a period of time, and they do lead to a reduced inflammatory state. They can help with various different types of problems. And any of those conditions that lead to inflammation, and it's inflammation that causes disease, potentially could benefit. So at adenovirus, patients may be able to benefit from it. Um, you can just use fish oil or flaxseed oil or krill oil. Maybe break, break up a tablet and put it on his worm or something like well, that? Well, since it comes as an oil, like get yeah. the capsules. Okay. And it's better to get the capsules than it is to get like the liquid that's in a pump. Okay. Because like the stuff that's in a pump, like it, it does break down over time. And because he's such a small guy, it's not like he needs a lot. So it's yeah. gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna go bad before you actually go through the bottle. So it's better to use those capsules because then it stays in a more, uh, not, it doesn't get rancid as easily. Yeah. Um, and then you can just put a whole capsule and squirt it on top of the food that he wants to eat. He doesn't need much. I mean, yeah. his size probably needs about like, probably 0.1 mils maximum, you know? Do, what about um, CBD? Do those, does that help? With That's a good question. I actually have not used it yet for a beardy. I actually haven't used it yet for any reptile. I have used it for birds. I have used it for rabbits. I've used it for guinea pigs. So I've used it in some of our exotic pets, but I haven't yet used it in a reptile. Now, birds are the closest we get to reptiles. Yeah. Right? Technically, birds yeah. are reptiles. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 And I thought my wife, chickens have uh, scales. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And so, while I was reading, as I was trying to find research papers, I, I like to do research. You know, yeah. find any. Re I found a few studies about CBD, you know, but they didn't have enough information on how it affected their liver and right. kidneys, and I wanted to know more. So I thought maybe. Well, so, so far, I mean, because <coughs> the people are just really starting to do studies in, in different animals, but um, in the bird studies, there are doses that they've done that seem to be effective at getting to tissue levels that are what are known to be appropriate for other species. So we know we can at least build it up in their system. And then I would say in the bird patients that I've used it in, variable success. Um, I've used it for birds mostly with pain uh, and for seizure activity. Um, and I will say that I have had owners report that, yeah, they do seem less painful. Um, as far as seizure activity goes, I would say, this is when they have seizures, it doesn't stop the seizure, but it definitely changes things. So stuff is going on neurologically. But the point of me telling you this is more that we know that, that there are, that system, that endocannabinoid system is present in the bird, which means it probably is present in them as well. 
Um, and so could there potentially be benefit? Yes, but I don't really have a dose for you yet. Yeah, yeah. I ordered some off Amazon and I was trying it just to see, but at that point, it was like shortly after that when he had his upper respiratory infection, so I couldn't tell if it was yeah. affecting him or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to see him run again. That's all. I know. <laughs> this is his first my, child. He's my baby. Like, <laughs> I saw him and I fell in love. She didn't even, she couldn't stand lizards. And <laughs> that little guy had a her phone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she used to use tongs to feed him. Now she's grabbing yeah. worms. And she's the content creator, so she's the one making all the videos and yeah. We had another beardy named Niku. She was she was the one that made the Instagram blow up, and she died of like this aggressive stomach cancer. Yeah. Oh. Gastric endocrine. Yeah. Gastric neuroendocrine. Endocrine. We took her in, and they said her her Internal sugar level, her, her A one C, whatever the level was, was like five thousand, five hundred. So it was super high, and that was one of the indicators. Yeah, that one's real tough because when by the time we diagnose it's it, it's over. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. You've been yeah, very awesome. Thank you. Very yeah, yeah. So 